Hey guys, people think Petra and Jordan is just this, which is the treasury, but in fact it's a huge ancient city and there's so much more to explore and in today's video we're gonna explore the sea. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Backpackers Guide to the World. Today's video is the first in a series of four about the ancient city of Petra in Jordan. To explore this ancient city has been a dream for me for ages because when I was a child my dad told me all about it. What I found interesting is that not only the archaeological sites are amazing, it's already the area and the stones and the way the geography is there. And in today's video we're gonna make our way to Petra which means that we're gonna go along the sea, which is this really narrow gorge, which in some places is just uh, three meters wide. And in the end, we're gonna see the treasury. From Amman, I took a bus to Petra, which took about three and a half hours. The bus stops in Vadi Musa, which is a city that is located next to Petra. And Vadi Musa has everything a traveler needs. It has hotels, hostels, restaurants and markets. The bus stops right next to the Petra Visitor Center. So if you want to start exploring, you could do that right away. By the way, the Visitor Center is located next to Petra, but you have to walk a little bit to get to the terrain. About halfway between the Visitor Center and the entrance to the sea are the so-called gin blocks. They are standing beside the path, but no one really knows why or wherefore they were built. After about like a kilometer, we reach the entrance to the sea, which is this narrow gorge that leads us to the ancient city of Petra that I've mentioned earlier. So if you want to translate Sikh, it means either shaft or gorge. On the left, you can see the ancient water pipe of the Nabataeans. So they carved out a bit of the rock. It was probably made of terracotta pipes and plastered with, well, plaster, which was a very advanced technique considering the time. As you can see, there are many people walking there and the Sikh is really busy. But there's something I would like to talk about that cannot be seen in the video. Theoretically, there is the possibility to be like driven by a carriage or even ride a donkey. Personally, I found this completely unnecessary because for me uh, walking wasn't exhausting. But I think it's quite important that you wear proper shoes. On the other hand also, the carriages are quite annoying. Because the seek in some places is just three meters wide. You really have to watch out that you're not overrun by them. And on the other hand, I felt that the animals are treated really poorly and and I personally didn't like it. Even if there weren't any archaeological site or ruins, I would still have gone there because the Sikh is so amazingly beautiful. In the Sikh, we can also find an ancient system of different dams that were constructed by the Nabataeans to protect Petra from flooding. So here is an example of a carriage. And yeah, after this one and a half kilometers in this really beautiful gorge, we can see the treasury. And this is where the video is going to stop today. Guys, I hope you liked the video. And please remember, this is just number one in a series of four videos. And in the next episode, we're going to see the treasury and climb up really high to have an amazing view. Have you been to Petra already? Please let me know in the comments down below and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!